Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Mindset Reset Masterclass. My name is Bryna Haynes, and I'm a catalyst for quantum evolution. And I'm here with my amazing business bestie, Meredith Kelly. Hi, it's Meredith here. And I am Blue Diamond Leader with doTERRA. And Bryna and I have created an amazing partnership because we are so excited to help people up-level their mindset which is the number one thing that we find in our business that holds people back. Right, Bryna? Absolutely. So you may be wondering why you're seeing a Mindset Reset Masterclass on Oil Life. Thank you so much, everyone at Oil Life, by the way, for allowing us this space to come in and, and share our genius with you and share our passion with you. And um, But you may be wondering, like, what's the deal? You know, this isn't a class specifically about oils. What is this doing on oil life? And we're here because your mindset is 90%, no kidding, 90% of your doTERRA business. And so if you are not seeing the results that you want, not making the connections you want, not up leveling in the way you dream and desire, chances are it's time to look at your mindset. Absolutely. It is, I find for myself and for my team that we have no idea how much our words matter and the what we're putting out into the universe matters. We have no idea because it doesn't really show up in, in a very um, external way other than we're not moving where we believe we can go. So Brian and I have teamed up to create something that's never been done before in doTERRA. And it is an eight week masterclass that we take people through. And we wanted to give you a taste of what that is today. And to show you the, the ways that we can help you to facilitate a mindset that is unstoppable. And we are truly the ones that stop ourselves. And again, what I find with my team as I'm training and, and really working with people individually, it's the things that we tell ourselves and the questions that we're asking ourselves that really hold us back and put us in a corner. So we are really excited to bring you a little taste of the magic that we've created together. And um, Bryna, do you want to kind of start us off with like how the brain works? Because what, what is so unique about our masterclass is that we teach you how, how the brain actually works, and that's Bryna's specialty, and then my specialty is helping you to apply it directly to your doTERRA business, and the quantum energetic that unifies us with everything is the, is the kind of secret side story that we work with in, as a team. So go ahead, Bryna. Absolutely. So <clears throat> there's so much talk in in our in our world really um and depending on how immersed you are in the spiritual world you may have heard this more or or maybe less but there's so much talk about we create our reality we talk about the law of attraction and chances are you've heard abraham hicks right and we absorb some of that and we we can get on board with it to a point and then we end up a lot of times falling back on our self definitions, the, the ways of being in the world that we currently inhabit, that we have grown accustomed to, that we really take for granted. And a lot of times these things serve us really, really well. And sometimes they don't. And this is where the mindset reset really comes into play. It's not about, oh, it's these thoughts that I'm thinking that I have to change. It's really about changing our mindset so we can change who we're being in the world. Because the way that we create a reality is by who we're being. We create our reality from not just the thoughts that we think, but the things that we say, the actions that we take, the way that we feel in those actions all the time. Right. That, those are the factors that create our reality. So where I like to start with this is just asking, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? And chances are, if I ask you that question, you'll get a whole cascade of answers. I am 
um, a doTERRA business owner. I am an introvert. I am an extrovert. I am a people person. I am shy. I am this. I am that. And all your self-definitions will kind of crowd up behind you when someone asks, who are you? And the really amazing thing, and Meredith and I get deep into this in our course, um, but I want to give you a little taste of it today. The really amazing thing to understand and to know that is our gift to you today is that everything that you think you are is only who you're being at this moment. Because who you actually are, not according to woo-woo spiritual crap, but according to quantum science, you are a container for universal possibility. And so anything that is possible in the quantum field is possible for you as long as you can see it, imagine it, feel it, right? And if you can shift your view of yourself and take all of those things that you define yourself as and by and say, okay, that's great. That's who I'm being right now but I am a container for universal possibility. So if I don't like this way that I'm being right now, if this is not serving me, if this is not moving me forward in my goals in life and business, then I have the ability to choose something different. And when we actually come into that space, all the possibilities open up. So Meredith, I wanna hear your take on this too, because you apply this so beautifully to work within doTERRA. Exactly, so Bryna just explained who we are as people. We are this vast, infinite possibility, right? We can be anything. And you've seen, you've seen amazing people that have inspired you, right? Everybody has the exact same ability. Everybody has the exact same 24 hours, right? In each day to hone their skill set, right? You can become anything that you wish. And within doTERRA, the same is true for, with the compensation plan, right? Every single one of us who signs up as a wellness advocate, we have the exact same opportunity as the top, top, top leader, right? We have the exact same compensation plan. So it's an amazing thing to witness when you are living yourself, you're, you're living your life in this intentional manner and you're also applying that into your business. So there's a gap, right, that happens in between where we are when we first start our doTERRA business and where we want to go. So there's this space in between getting from here to here. And so what we help you to do and help you to facilitate for yourself, again, you can only do this work yourself, is we help you to realize that there is no difference between what you've got going on and what somebody else has going on to create and live into and design your business to be exactly how you would like it to be. And so there's, it's just the energy and the space and the time, right? That's different for all of us because we all start this journey um, from a different mindset. Everybody's unique with who they are when they come on board. But again, we all have the same exact opportunity. And so we help you to sh let go of all of your excuses and to drop into a question. Because what happens when you drop into a question? Think about this for a moment. When you make a statement that has a period at the end of that statement, like something like, oh, I'm not good at this, or I don't know enough people, or I'm never going to be able to go diamond, or I, whatever it is, right? Would insert your own um, you know, statement, I am statement in there. It, it just stops the energy. And so if you can feel into it, I am not good at this period. That doesn't really give you any more direction, any more space to go beyond that. The period ends the sentence right there. It's done. It's kind of like this roadblock, right? It's this wall that you just put up. So what we help you to do is ask yourself a question because think about this. If there's a question mark at the end of your, of your statement, what would it take for me to be good at this? right? Question. 
question mark. That opens up this whole new aspect in your brain that Brian is going to talk about in a minute, that it will allow you to follow the energy of that question and see what would it take for you because it is possible. Everything is possible. You are a container for possibility and you just need to get on board with that part of yourself and stop making conclusions that help you to get really stuck and, and hit the wall. Absolutely. So I want to preface all of this by saying that chances are you are 98% in complete alignment with everything that you want. And what we're looking at, what we're looking at creating through this masterclass today and through the course that we're going to tell you about is really a two degree shift, right? So all the things that we know about ourselves, all the ways that we are being in our lives and businesses, we have created stories around those, we've created identities out of them, and most of the time they serve us really well, especially when those conclusions and those identities and those definitions have to do with our strengths and what we value and what we wanna to bring to the world when they're tied into our big why. But what happens, and I want to kind of explain the science of this a little bit, what happens to create that gap between who we're being right now and what we want that sometimes seems insurmountable, what have, what's in the middle of that gap is unhelpful self-definitions. I want to lead more classes, but I'm shy. I want to go diamond, but I don't know enough people. Or I, I want to go presidential diamond, but not enough people in my downline are going to step up, right? Those conclusions, right? And those self-definitions, I'm to this, I'm to that, I'm not enough this, I'm not enough that. All of those create barriers in your mind that... They, they stop you from seeing the possibilities on the other side. Like Meredith said, it's like hitting a wall. So the way this works is that any definition that you have about yourself or your business or the world or the universe at large, any definition that you have is like a filter that's inserted in your brain. And you have this mechanism in your brain called the reticular activating system. This is a part of your, um, your brain's structure. And the function of the reticular activating system is, is, is a filter. And basically, if you didn't have it, you would not be able to sort and prioritize the 8 billion pieces of information that come into your brain every single day. So if you didn't have that, the, the feeling of the wind on your face or the feeling of the chair under your butt or like the way your clothes are touching your shoulders would be just as, as important to your mind as what I'm saying to you right now, right? The reticular activating system is part of what helps us filter out all of the different pieces of sensory, neurological, and thought input that come at us all the time so that we can say, oh, I'm focused, right? It's not that our brain isn't assimilating these other pieces of information, but if we're focused, we're prioritizing one piece of information. When we have a definition about ourselves, our business, the world, the universe, whatever, what that does is it places a very strong filter in your brain, in your reticular activating system. It's like, it's like putting up a cubicle wall, right? So I have concluded this, now I have this dead end literally in front of my face. I'm too shy, I can't do that. Dead end, right? You see me hit myself in the face right there. So, <laughs> so what that does is it tells your brain that this thought this reality, this conclusion is a priority and your brain will not let anything in that disagrees with that. So it's like you're standing in the quantum field surrounded by these myriad possibilities and you've put up a cubicle wall and you can't see what's on the other side now. You've fenced yourself in by this self-definition. Now, that's not to say that, again, some self-definitions are really helpful right? But if your self-definitions have become excuses for not doing what you need to do to get where you want to go, it's time to look at them and say, what else is possible? How can I realize that what I'm thinking is not necessarily true? 
It's just a conclusion that I've come to. It's a cubicle wall that I can pick up and move because I am a container for universal possibility and this cubicle wall does not define who I am. So working with the reticular activating system is a big part of what we do in our How to Create a Quantum Leap course because all of those filters that we put in place, we often take for granted. And often it takes something really big and profound to shift those for us, but it doesn't have to be one of those cosmic two by fours that like whacks you upside the head, you know, cause nobody wants those. And are you really willing to wait around for that? You know, people talk about having major mindset shifts like after a death or after an illness or an injury or something really traumatic happening. Those are the cosmic two by fours that we get when we wake up. We don't wanna to have to sit around and wait for those. And honestly, it's not necessary to call those in to profoundly change how you view yourself and how you function in the world. You can do it by the, the work that we're gonna teach you. Um, and so when you, you identify a conclusion that you're coming to, uh, a self-definition that you have that is not helping you in reaching your goals around your business, that is where you are prepping to create a quantum leap. You said, okay, so this thing that I've been being, this definition that I've been having doesn't work for me anymore. It doesn't work for me anymore. It is standing in the way of my goals and my dreams and my potential. It's time to do something about it. When you come to that conclusion, you are primed for a quantum leap. And what a quantum leap is, um, is it's an instantaneous shift in vibrational energy. And we look deeply at this in the course about how this actually comes from wave theory and particle theory um, and looking at the structure of an atom and what a quantum leap is at a subatomic level. Um, but for now, just know that it's an immediate tangible shift in vibrational energy that changes your relationship to your reality. One quantum leap that you could have literally right now is accepting the fact that you are more than you think you are and that you are a container for endless possibility and that everything that you want is available to you and that the things that you think you know about yourself are only as solid as you make them and only as permanent as you choose to let them be. So I'm gonna turn this over to Meredith to continue this because she can make this a lot more doTERRA specific and she has her own brilliant insights to lend into this whole discussion, so. So I will just ask you all who are tuning in now and we've got Trudy and we've got Marion on with us live and some of you are tuning into the replay. So I would just ask you to just acknowledge, have you been, have you, been aware of how you're actually being inside your business, inside your life. And not only all of your cells are watching you, but also everybody out in the world that you're interacting with, they are watching you. So how are you being when you're talking about your business? How you are being when you're making a contact? How you are being when you are teaching a class? how you are being when you're inviting to a class. This is all the energy that other people pick up on. So just ask yourself that question. How are you being inside your business? You know, this, this quantum shift that we speak of, it comes from the inside out. It is not something that you have to go out and get from outside of you. you your internal reality is what shifts your external reality. And there's, there's a module that I go really, really deep into this. And it's about looking at the three different mirrors that show up within your business and within your life. And it's a really great um, homework that we take you through so that you can look at what is truly showing up in your business to help you see, oh, that's just reflecting back at me what I'm being. And just like how we show up, every way that we are being in our business, we actually duplicate that energy out to our team. So it's so important that we ask that. And just some examples, are you being busy in your business? Because if you're being busy in your business, meaning you have 
so much on your to-do list. It's really overwhelming to you and you have all of this stuff going on and that, that feeling of busy is a really heavy feeling if you drop into it. And that energy is something that is rippling out to the people who are watching you. So the people who are showing up for your class, the people who are kind of um, interviewing you to see if they want to join you. That's that. That's the dominant energy that they're feeling. If it's feeling busy, that's not going to feel light and fun, right? That it's going to feel like, ooh, she's got a lot going on. I don't know if I could do that. I don't think I have enough time to do what she's doing. Those kinds of thoughts kind of come out of that energy of busy. And Bryna mentioned shy. Are you being shy? That's another one. That's another way that I see a lot of people who are limiting their potential. They're playing that shy game. And it might be something that they were, that they adopted, you know, these, these self identities, we adopt them in our, in our child mind from, you know, sometimes four five, six years old. And it's this, this, idea that we adopted from something that happened in our external world. Uh, a lot of times uh, we can find our money issue is back in that timeline as well. Four, five, six, if you can think about the first time you had an awareness that money was a thing that um, that was important in this world, you can track back to your first experience with money. And for me, I can remember exactly what it was. It was a negative experience. My parents were fighting over money. I was four years old. And I remember going to my piggy bank saying, here you go. I want to give this to you. And, and their response was kind of like, yeah, that's not going to help. <laughs> you know, and I just remember having that kind of like, oh, wow, money is a thing. In my little four-year-old brain, I took that into my identity of like, ooh, money is something that I'm going to struggle with because I'm seeing that in my reality. And that's something that I had to work with throughout my adult life and becoming aware of that identity. So are you being shy? Are you being a person who is, who is um, you know, who has difficulties with money? Are you being that person in your business? And it's okay, you can shift anything if you're willing to look at it and to see it. If you can name it, if you can claim it, if you can give it a name, you can heal it, right? If you can see it, you can heal it. You cannot heal something though that you're in denial about, okay? So it's, it's just about bringing it to light and there's nothing wrong. There's nothing, um, you know, wrong with you. There is nothing, um, you know, that that is lacking within you. If you're going through something like this in your life, again, anybody, we're all containers of infinite possibility. So we can expand and outcreate anything that we've ever created before, and we can start over. And we can start over again and we can fall down and start over again. Again, there's no limit to what you can create. So thinking about how you're being in your business, spend some time with that just today. Write it down. Like, what do you feel your, your dominant vibration of beingness is when you're looking at your business? And is it attractive to you even? Do you want to join a business with somebody who's being busy or being shy. Um, there's other ways that you can look at this as well. Are you being inspirational? Are you being phenomenal? Like these are some energies that, that people can, can get into, right? Get into the vibration of and say, yes, like it expands. It's like, ooh, she's so inspirational. I love what she's doing. I want more of that in my life. And that's the energetic of attraction marketing and that my friends is my specialty and that's what I love to teach people how to do is to get into that beingness so that people want what you're having right <laughs> they want to be in that that field with you whatever it is it's fun it's inspirational it's phenomenal it's magnificent whatever the word is that that you love to gift to other people in your business that's the energy that should and can be your dominant being. Yes. And I want to step in here and just let you know that there, we're not asking 
through this work that you become somebody else. I think that's a really important point to make. You are a container for universal possibility. You have beautiful self-definitions that absolutely support you. When you change a self-definition, you're not changing who you are. You're not becoming a different container. Like you are the container. You're simply choosing to show up as a version of you who is more aligned with what you want. So if you are feeling like, um, like what, what this work is expecting of you is to be somebody else and there's some resistance happening. I was kind of sensing a little bit of energetic. Someone who's watching this needs to hear this. <laughs> um, that's not the case at all. And the way that you do a new possibility, the way that you inhabit a new possibility is entirely unique to you. But who's the version of me who's awesome with money? Who's the version of me who's inspirational? Who's the version of me who totally rocks it on a stage in front of 5,000 people? Who's that version of me? And how do I become her? Right? So there's, there's a difference there. It's not about putting aside who you are or minimizing who you're being at the moment in favor of adopting someone else's traits or some other, um, some other people's ideas about who you should be. It's about realizing when a self-definition isn't serving and then asking what else is possible what would it be like? Like what version of me can inhabit this other space? And then kind of feeling into that. And there's some tweaking that might need to happen there. You might need to use different words. You might need to um, define things differently, even than we're speaking to you right now. Awesome. Because the version of you who has what you want is you. Right. So I just wanted to make that really, really clear that this is not, again, about following someone else's rules or someone else's system or someone else's definition of what it means to be successful. You don't have to become another person in order to have these big dreams that you have. It's just about choosing a new version of you and living into that. Yes. Absolutely, 1000%. And that's what we're speaking about when we talk about it's an inside job. Because it's so easy to look at some of the top leaders in doTERRA and say, I want to, I want, I want to be like her, or I can't be like her, or, I can't do it that way. Again, that would be you taking yourself outside of your power zone, which is internally. And just asking yourself the question, what version of myself is this, is this possible for, for? So how can I get into that place within me that is that, that top leader version? And again, we are all bio-individual. We all have different strengths. We all have different abilities and talents that are incredible and diverse. That's what is so amazing about human beings is that we're all so different right? And then when we all have the exact same potential, especially in this playing field with doTERRA, we all have the exact same potential to soar and to lead a team into the greatness, right? At the heart of why we do this business is to empower people, empower people with their health, empower people with their wealth, right? There's so many people out there who are praying for a better way to take care of their health. So we have this beautiful gift to, to share with people and our work together, Bryna and I and you, is to help you realize that just who you are is enough. You are designed with infinite potential. You're just not diving deeper. You're diving deep enough into who you are to access that aspect of yourself if you don't have what you want yet. Doesn't mean that you're never gonna get there. It means that you're on your way, absolutely. And there's just a little deeper inner work. Maybe there's too much looking on the outside. Maybe there's too much um, you know, energetic projection onto what you think 
success has to be like. Again, that, those are things that create conclusions for us. And it's that period at the end of the sentence and then that wall. <laughs> and so that's why I find Brian and I together in our work, that's what we find holds people up is that definition, that period. And so our work with you is to help you get into the question of what's my most evolved version of me the person who already has what I want, how, how does she be the energetic beingness in her, in her life? And then just starting to apply that to what you're already doing in your business, that changes everything. That's that two degree shift that Brian was talking about. It changes everything and it's like an instantaneous, that's why we call it the quantum leap because it can happen super quick it just is a matter of how deeply do you want to take responsibility for the energy with which you actually are with the energy that you are being and how quickly do you want to course correct it's really that's the question right Raina? we are so big on questions <laughs> in all of our work um before we actually uh open up the floor for questions um, I want to talk a little bit about the power of questions because this is, is really central to the how to create a quantum leap course. This is really central to the work that Meredith and I do together, the training that we do, the coaching that we do. Questions are your most powerful tools for personal evolution, for business evolution, for world consciousness evolution, right? Because ultimately that's kind of what we're after. Like this is, this is the work that changes the world and we start inside and we ripple out. So questions are powerful because if you ask yourself a question, any question, your brain cannot fail to answer it. It has to answer. Ask, I mean, test this out. Ask yourself any question like, why do horses have four legs, right? Your brain will go to work digging in its, its resources to find the answers to the question that you just asked it. This is an actual um, neurological reflex called instinctive elaboration. And your brain will always go to work answering the questions that you ask it. And one of the things that we tend to do to undermine ourselves is we ask really crappy questions. We ask questions like, why can't I have what I want? Well, your brain is going to answer that. And it's going to answer based on all of your self-doubt and your limiting beliefs and your childhood stories. And you're going to get the same toxic stuff spewed back to you because you've asked a question that doesn't have a good answer. It doesn't have an answer that's going to move you forward. And yet those are most of the questions that we ask ourselves in our heads every single day. Why can't I have what I want? What does she have that I don't? Why does the world want to limit me? Why don't I have the support that I'm craving? Why, why, why? And when we ask those questions, the, we get answers based on our internal filtration system and cubicle walls. So it's basically like a toilet that keeps flushing in the same direction. <laughs> it's the best visual I can come up with. When we change our questions, and we start asking really empowering and forward looking questions, we get better answers. So instead of why can't I have what I want, we might ask, what would make it possible for me to have that? It's a totally different question. And because your brain has to answer it, you're gonna get some really creative answers coming up in your head. And if you don't revert to the closed and downward looking questions, and you keep with this, these forward looking questions, you will start to notice that the field of possibility will open up for you in really magnificent ways. So again, questions are really central to our teaching. We don't, we're not here to provide answers for you. We're here to teach you how to ask questions so that you can get your own answers, but get them in a way that's actually gonna propel you forward. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, everyone. So Meredith, do you have anything you wanna add on this before we go into q and I'm ready. I'm ready for q and I absolutely love hearing questions because for me, 
as a mentor, I can tell exactly where someone is just by the question that they're asking. It's fascinating. And the more that you tune in to your own questions and the words that you're using, the more, this is how we live that intentional life. The more you can, you can assess exactly which direction you need to lean more into. So it becomes this very beautiful dance of self-awareness with, with how you're showing up in this moment. And ooh, what's a better question I can ask here? So bring it on. Does anybody on this call right now wanna, wanna ask us a question? We are here. We'll just, um, it's okay, no pressure. We don't wanna put anybody in the hot seat, but if you have a question for myself or Brian or both of us, please do come off mute, raise your hand, or you can type it in the chat if you don't, if you don't wanna speak. It's all good, we are here for that. And um, if not, Brian and I can continue um, chatting about, um, you know, we, we love, we love chatting together. So all the things I know you, you might get to sit in on a, like a private Brian and Meredith session where we go off and, and rant about, you know, saving the world and you know, all the things. <laughs> but, um, so if you do have a question again, feel free to type it in the chat. Um, uh, feel free to take yourself off mute. You can interrupt us. We don't mind. Um, but, uh, while we wait for those to come through, because there might be a little bit of a delay with us seeing the questions in the chat, why don't, Meredith, why don't we tell them a little bit more about the How to Create a Quantum Leap course and, um, and what they're going to get if they choose to subscribe to that and, uh, and what, you know, just all the juiciness that we've got going on there. Yes. Yes. So we are going to be putting a link to that also in the chat here in a little bit. And it is an eight week masterclass and it is self-paced. And if you like this conversation that we're having right now, you are going to love this masterclass because this goes really deep into the science behind the fact that we are limitless potential beings, right? That we are containers for infinite possibilities. And it goes really, really deep into taking responsibility for that. And then specific ways that you can apply this to your doTERRA business, which also is an infinite container for possibilities. You know, there is no cap to how much you can create within the doTERRA compensation plan. So it's a beautiful marriage of science and directly application into your doTERRA business. And we are just so excited about what's happening for people who've already said yes to this course. And if you're wondering um, anything about it, I'll just tell you it's self-paced. There's homework, there's meditations, there's uh, bonus materials for setting up your day. And it's something that you can seamlessly use while you're building your business. There's no, there's no kind of barrier between this or that time-wise. It's a, it's a seamless marriage to what you're already doing with your business and really helping you to get really clear on the energy with which you're being, teaching you exactly why your, your why questions matter, how to really up-level your questions, and then applying the beingness to your business and how you're showing up again and in the way that you're connecting with people, whether it's through classes, invites, um, inviting people into your, into your oil class, inviting people into business partnership with you. It is an awesome, awesome masterclass to helping you really, really dive deeper into who you're being so that you can be a better leader for your team, for yourself, and to really rock that business. So uh, is there anything that I left out, Bryna, that you want to bring up? No, you, you got all of it. Um, I just want to say that, you know, it's, it's actually been blowing my mind how much has changed for our students who have taken this course. It's been unbelievable. The messages I get, the testimonials we get, the conversations that I'm having. And Meredith and I are super present for everyone who's in this course. We have a private Facebook group for our course students. We're in there 
all the time. We are live once a week to answer your questions. Everything is archived. I mean, basically, like already, we pretty much have a whole other course worth of Facebook lives in that uh, in that Facebook group. So you have hours of material that you can go and listen to and be supported by. But um, but the changes that are happening for people, like Eileen and Allie were telling us that not only did this completely change the way that they approach their business, um, but actually change their marriage. And they were able to be more authentic with one another in both their marriage and their business partnership. And it just shifted everything. Um, and, uh, and we had Kelly who, after a long time of hesitation, actually left her chiropractic practice to pursue her doTERRA business full time, which was like amazing. And she took this huge leap and she's having amazing success with it. And actually you might see her masterclass with her sister, Kemi, uh, right below the, the link to this one. Um, and uh, I, I believe they showed up on the frequently bought together is <laughs> when I was looking at the oil life site. Right. So. People have had incredible breakthroughs with this work. And we're not taking ownership for that. That was all they're doing because they learned how to ask the right questions and how to open to possibility. And so that's the space that we're really holding for everyone is not we're going to create a result for you, but we're going to hold the space for you to create massive leaps in your life and in your business. So uh, Trudy, oh, thank you, honey. I am currently in a very more than full-time job while getting started with doTERRA. How can we best approach contacting, holding classes, et cetera, and maintain easy mental balance while in a situation such as this? Fantastic question, Meredith. I'm gonna give that one to you. Okay, so she's currently in a more than full-time job. So just breathing into that more than full-time job. So a lot of your time and energy is going towards um, this, this main kind of, we call it the, <laughs> the real job, right? <laughs> the quote unquote real job, right? So I would just, I want to tune into that for just a minute. And, and I would ask you, is your intent to continue in that place? Is that place feeding you? Do you feel good when you're in there? Because most of your time is going in that direction. So, okay, so <laughs> you're getting stressful deadlines. So, so is that the energy? Okay, so you don't wanna continue. Okay, that was, that's kind of what I wanted to hear. So you're looking to um, supplement your income and then shift out of that career so that you can be an entrepreneur and come and go as you please in life. Yes. Cool. So what you do is you're, you're, you're wanting to now. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so what you want to do is be aware, be aware of the energy and start asking your question like, okay, so more than full time of my energy, the biggest dominant, part of my day is spent in this full-time job, okay, which you're grateful for. There's gratitude there, right? Because you got a check coming in and we obviously, we definitely need that check, right? Because it takes a minute to kind of build up momentum and residual income with doTERRA, right? Especially if you're not, if you don't have a lot of time to focus in that direction. So the question around that is, is, is the energy with which I'm being in my real job, is that carrying over into what I am doing with doTERRA? And I just want you to know that it doesn't matter if you have one hour a week to spend on growing your doTERRA business, whatever that time is that you do have, as long as you are being, you're, you're in a state of being that is that is, you know, you're being that phenomenal, inspirational, you're being that, that deeper part of yourself that is the dreamer, that is the you that knows that you're capable of creating something massive. If you're tapping into that energetic part of yourself, even if it's just for an hour that you spend contacting and inviting and um, moving your business forward in that direction, whether you're giving out samples or whatever it is that you're doing with that hour, that power hour that you have, that's the energy that is going to grow your business. 
So if you're feeling that, wow, I'm so stressed out from my main gig that when I get to my doTERRA stuff, that energy, that stressful energy is carrying over into how I'm showing up there. That's what you're going to want to shift. You're going to want to shift. And just even if it's just for an hour, you're going to give yourself that space, that time, that, that energy, that space, that consciousness for you to shift out of that stressful mindset and get into that beingness, that person. And you're going to project, and, and this would be something that I would give you as homework to do, just project into your future, knowing that you can create anything you wish. And the how isn't your job, right? The, 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 it's the energy that you know. I know that I am creating a diamond organization and or above, right? If you have that, that awareness, that means that that ver version of you exists somewhere in the quantum field, right? Because we get really deep into science in our course, which I'm not going to get too deep into right now, but the truth is, is that time is simultaneous. It's all simultaneous. So that version of you that was a child, that version of you now, and that future version of you, they're all existing simultaneously, right? So there's an aspect that, that you can become that version of her, whoever she is, that future you that has exactly what it is that you desire. If you can work on becoming her while you're working on your business, that is going to be your key. So Brian, is there anything that you want to add to that? Yeah, I would just say, Trudy, if you can spend some time sitting with what do I actually want? So not a, a dollar level in your doTERRA business, not quitting your job, but really how do you want to feel when you've made this transition, when you're doing your work with doTERRA full time, when you're creating this magnificent business, when you're, you know, interacting with all these amazing people, how do you want to feel? Because chances are there are some keywords in there like freedom, like abundance, like um, creativity or, or whatever that is for you. I want you to sit with this for a little while and really find those keywords, those the sort of core values that exist within that vision that you have of doing doTERRA full time. And then once you have them, even if you only hone in on one, maybe it's freedom. What I want you to do is every single day, I want you to ask, because we're coming back to questions, right? How can I have more of that today? How can I have more freedom today? How can I have more abundance today? How can I have more creativity today? And again, let your brain do the work that it's designed for. Let it go fetch those answers for you. It's like playing with a puppy. Like, here's the ball I want you to chase. Go there. And if you give it the right ball to chase, it will bring back things that you had no idea were even possible. How can I have more freedom today? You're going to get an intuitive answer. It might be like something weird, like go to the mall. Like what? Listen to it. It doesn't matter what the answer is. Listen to whatever your inner voice tells you is the pathway to freedom for you today. And if you consistently do that, you will bring more of what you want into your life right now, which makes it more possible for you to attract everything that you're dreaming of in terms of the material aspects of the dream that you're cultivating. So that's the practice I want you to start with literally right now. What does this version of me who has this thing that I want, how does she feel every day? What does she value? What are her keywords? And then start asking, how can I have more of that today? So I hope that's helpful. And uh, we kind of fire hosed you with information a little bit there, Trudy, but, <laughs> but you showed up live. So this is what you get. Woohoo! <laughs> Merit, do you have any questions? If you do, honey, put them in the chat. Yeah, you get to be in the hot seat if you want it. You definitely and Courtney, do. Too, it's coming up for you. You're you're uh, you're you're supporting us in the background. But if you have anything that is coming up for you, we would love to uh, to answer your questions as well. So uh, while we wait for things to show up in the chat, Meredith, is there anything else that you would like to say about? Uh, any of what we talked about or what we're creating together or any, any of that? Sure. I mean, 
I love working with people on this level because people who are entrepreneurial at heart, people who have a dream that they, they visualize something better for themselves in the future. Like we are so, as women, <laughs> I don't think there's any guys on here, but if you are, just pause your brain for a minute. As women, we are so, I want to say marginalized in society. Like we have these certain roles that we must play. And we don't allow ourselves to ask that question that Bryna just asked you, Trudy. How would you like to feel? What do you want? So I really, really want to honor the fact that you are starting a business, whether you're just starting or you're a little bit down the road, you, you have a vision, you have a dream for a better life, and you're taking action on that. So that is the biggest kudos that I can give to anybody. I absolutely love working with doTERRA. Partnering with this company has been the best decision of my life. I was a massage therapist for 20 years pre-doTERRA. So I have um, a lot of energy work and healing in my background. And this platform, this way that I get to work with people is amazing because what I was doing with my one-on-one -on -one energy with people, I was a solopreneur who has transitioned now into a global leader. And I never thought that I would be able to um, work with this many people. I never thought that I would be able to make an impact this big in, in my life, but it's something that I dreamed of. And if I didn't have the person who shared Otero with me asked me that question. I don't think I would have asked myself that question. So it's such a gift. I have to just get behind the gift of, of what this business is for so many of us and just kind of amplify that, you know, amplify the fact that you have an amazing gift to offer people with this business. And if you want to grow this business, Trudy, if you just have one hour a week to spend on your doTERRA business, I would advise you to spend it on looking for people who are praying for a better way of business. You need to share the business. We are very product focused with doTERRA and obviously um, people who are attracted to doTERRA as a product um, you know, are, are open to natural things, right? And so the business side of that, obviously they would have to be open to natural things, but who, and just get into a prayer space, you know, get into a prayer space around whose life can I bless today with this business? Because you have been given such an amazingly beautiful, brilliant gift. And how can you share that with other? That, that energetic of gratitude and giving is probably the most profound energy that you can get into when you want to bring your energy into that inspirational zone and you want to come out of that stress energy. It's just tapping into that gratitude and doing it every single day, every single day, every single day. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have this gift of doTERRA to share with other people. Whose life can I bless today? And just asking that question from that energetic, that's just a key of how you can shift your energy into being that magnetic attractor. Okay, Bryna? <laughs> yeah, so this is a taste of what you're gonna get if you join us in the How to Create a Quantum Leap course, because Meredith and I wax poetic on all things mindset, reset, doTERRA, reality creation and everything. Um, and I really just want to say, you know, first of all, thank you everyone for being here, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching on the replay. Um, I, I really appreciate the time that you've spent. And if you take nothing else from this masterclass, just take with you the idea that everything that you desire is possible. 
And if you would like some support and helping to create that, we are happy to provide it. Um, if you got a lot out of this masterclass, we would love if you would share it with your team. This is obviously not a team specific training or a, a process specific training. This is really for anyone who wants to grow within the doTERRA organization. And um, I just, I can't wait to continue this work with you. This is my passion. This is Meredith's passion. Obviously that comes through um, when we talk about this and we just want to help you step into the most magnificent version of you. So I definitely want to say thank you to everyone at Oil Life for holding this space for us. Thank you, Courtney, for setting all this up. Um, and uh, thank you for, for giving us a, another platform to share what we're really passionate about. So namaste. And um, I just, I can't wait to connect with you all. Um, if you are interested in joining us for the How to Create a Quantum Leap course, you can click on the link. There's a link right here in the chat. Um, and uh, you can also click, uh, click on the link right on the Oil Life website. Uh, that will bring you to the sign up page. And if you use the code Oil Life 5, you will get a $5 discount. So this class becomes free when you buy the course. So um, I think that's all that I wanted to say. But uh, just thank you everyone so much for being here and allowing us to share. And uh, we're just really holding space for for you to to evolve into the most magnificent version of you and we can't wait to see how that plays out on the world stage absolutely and Bryna, thank you so much for um being here with me today and yes oil life we are just so happy to have this space and platform to reach more people because in our book more people need to be successful with doTERRA because as you know, the heart of doTERRA is all about time freedom, financial freedom, so that we can get out and be a change maker in the world and give more to products and to, to products, to projects that light us up in the world that create more good on the planet. So you're in the right place if that's what you want to create more of too. Thank you so much for those who joined us live and for those of you on the replay. We can't wait to get to know you. So yeah, use the link here or, um, you know, Oil Life is going to have it posted somewhere easy. It's on their website. Just type in Mindset Reset and or Quantum Leap and you'll find, you'll find your way to us. Thank you again so much, everybody. We had so much fun with your question, Trudy, and we look forward to more um, interactions with you in the future. Bye for now, everyone. Again, thank you for your time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.